It looks like there's a brand new beef brewing and y'all are not gonna believe this one. Well, he's a cutie pie. I might put him in Potomac. <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, he can come right on to Potomac. Oh. Okay, so what's up, y'all? This is Boy Richie Sky. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I mean, listen, we're bringing y'all news and views daily here on this channel. I try to do things every day during the week, uh, not so much during the weekend because I know you guys like to, you know, relax and chill. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so down below. Hit the notification bell button. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DJ Richie Sky. Now, for those of you who are new, we discuss a lot of things that are going on in pop culture, specifically a lot of things that are going on in the world of housewives and all kinds of stuff like that. So, you know, I'm always on the lookout for the latest in the juicy world of housewives. And Real Housewives of Atlanta right now is popping. Let me tell y'all, it's really, really popping. And we got a crazy beef for y'all going on right now on social media. It's crazy. I'm, I'm, I listen, this was the last thing that I was expecting. I was about to sit down and fix my lunch and be done for the day and do some other work. But I came across this and I'm like, I'm literally sitting right here and I'm laughing to myself like, what is going on? So let's get down to it, shall we? So, um, first things first. You know, Cynthia Bailey is becoming quite the uh, savvy businesswoman. You know, as you guys know, she's got the Bailey School of Modeling. I, I guess that's still in existence. I haven't really heard much about it. Uh, in the past couple of seasons, so I don't know. She's got the Bailey sp event space or something like that. Is that that's correct? And then she's got the Bailey wine cellar um, that just recently opened. And if I can find a picture of it, I'm gonna put it up right here. Um, and y'all, she got some sunglasses and tote bags. I think if y'all remember from past seasons. So let's count them all down, all the business enterprises. And I'm not mad at it, girl. Get your coin, get it hot, you live it, okay? You got the you got the uh the, the tote bags, you got the, the eyeglass line, you got the um the wine cellar, you got the uh event space and the modeling school. If somebody y'all let me know down in the comments if the wine at the uh Bailey School of Modeling is still in existence. Cause I don't know, I ain't heard her talk about it, but that's five businesses that I know of. If we add the um, Seagram's thing, that's that's the second. That's the sixth one. So I'm counting all these potential income streams because it looks like we might have a mini candy on our hands. Have y'all tried the Seagram's peach? Let me know because I ain't tried it yet. I'm going to try it this week. If I can try it this weekend, I'm going to try it this weekend. And we'll do a little review on it if I do it. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So anyway, she just recently announced uh, via social media that she's coming out with a wig and a cosmetics line. Okay, let me say something. Now, here is one of the first ventures, not really the first, but here is a venture that I can really see working well for Cynthia, a wig line and potentially and, and a cosmetics line. I can see these happening. Why? Because she is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She's beautiful and she always changing up her hair. She's been changing up her wigs and her hair since, what, season Season three, when she came on, she came on in season three, right? She's been changing her hair up ever since then, and we are all here for it. You know what I'm saying? We love Cynthia Bailey for her looks. Now, all the ladies change their wigs quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? And they, we, we like a little shake up every now and again. But really, Cynthia goes the extra mile with it, and she does a lot of dramatic styles that, you know, some of the other ladies may not necessarily do, which is dope because it makes her stand out. So we love her for that. But... Um, can we, I want to talk about the shade that's being thrown her, thrown her away from an unexpected source. Okay. So Miss Kim Zosiak, wig herself, has been talking about a wig line for almost the past decade, I believe. Right. And y'all know she's got her, I think it's a KAB cab cosmetics or something like that where she sells the cosmeticals in a similar fa in a similar fashion to Kylie Jenner with the bleeding lips and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if they bleed or not. I just I just said that they look like they're dripping. 
Anyway, she sells those on, I don't know. I don't know what it is. And then, I, uh, uh, let me get into the, the crazy part of this. So when Cynthia posts, Cynthia made this post about, you know, she's coming out with these with these lines. Kim Zosiak then comments beneath it with this. Now, listen, the blogs happen to pick up on it and catch that shade. Listen, and the people are going off about it. OK, and I can't say that I blame them. At the end of the day, I feel like, girl, Kim, you're the last person that needs to talk about somebody being original. It like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a lot of people out here with, with very profitable cosmetics lines. And let's talk about it, Kim. You wasn't the first to do it. You wasn't the first to do it. Like, wh why are you coming out to Cynthia Bailey? I mean, I feel like Cynthia ain't doing nothing but trying to live and make some money. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to make her money, make her little coin over here and over here and over here. She's making the most of her opportunities. I feel like, why are you, why are you shading? Why are you shading that? You, of all people, why are you shading the fact that she's coming out with a cosmetics line when yours looks very similar to some of the ones that we've already seen out on the market? Granted, listen, I'm the type of person that says this. I don't really care how how um, saturated the market is with something. If I'm doing it, I'm doing it, and I'm going to do it my way. So shout out to anybody out there who does it next and who does it their way. So, Kim, why do you have anything to say about this? And furthermore, Kim, you have been talking about this wig line for the past umpteen years. Like, how many years you've been talking about these wigs? You've been wearing wigs since season one, right? I know since at least season two or three, we heard you say we heard you talk about coming out with a wig line. Now, if you ain't came out with your line in a decade and you mad or you, you got something to say about this woman who is known for her wigs and in a positive way, they're not saying that her wig is like Party City wigs. Um, you can't be hating on that. And then so what I had to do was me and my journalism. I had to go and look it up. I had because I said, Have she, has she come out with it yet? So apparently I looked because I went to BravoTV.com too, and they were saying, oh, she had made a post about how in 2019 she was supposed to be coming out with something very special, pointing to her hair and then talking about wigs. Girl, listen, I went and looked up online Kim Zosiak wigs. I had to do a Google search because I didn't I hadn't run across that article yet. And this is what I found. Now if y'all are interested in Party City wigs or anything like that of this sort, check out Wig Sis. Now, I, listen, again, I'm not shading the quality of these wigs, and I don't know if it's run by Kim Zosiak herself. What I do know is that somebody beat Kim Zosiak to the punch, and they put out Kim Zosiak wigs before she could put out Kim Zosiak wigs. Now, I, you can't pay me to believe that this is Kim Zosiak's uh, wig store, this the Shopify looking store right here, but... What I'm telling you is that, Kim, if you ain't done this in a decade, I, I hope this, listen, is this your site right here, girl? Because let me tell you something. They got a variety of them, and so that tells me that they probably sell these wigs like hotcakes, okay? So somebody is out here buying these wigs. What I'm trying to say is this, Kim. You are the last person that should be commenting about anybody being original because, I don't know, girl, like, these lips ain't too original that we looking at all, all this time. And I, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm the, I'm the type of person that's like this. If you want to alter your body yourself, I am the t I'm the per first person to say, go for it. You got to be happy with the way you look. Listen, I want to get a couple of things done myself. But at the end of the day, if you want to do that, do that. But listen, girl, you can't call out nobody on something that you're not quite there yourself with, okay? You're not quite an original with anything at this point. So, I don't want to hear nothing else about it. So anyway, y'all comment down below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Are y'all here for Cynthia Bailey and her wigs and her cosmetics, first off? And then what do y'all think about Kim Zosiak commenting? Was this shade or was this just like mm, her being weirdly supportive? I really don't get it because she did it in a very passive aggressive fashion, if you ask me. What do y'all think about this? And are y'all buying Kim Zosiak wigs? Would you go shop at wigs, sis? I want to know. Let me know what y'all think because I'm supportive of people's businesses. All right, so y'all, 
hit me down below in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification button. And always follow me on Instagram and Twitter at DJ Richie Scott. And I will see you guys in the next video.